Gross 83 coming at you live January 1st, 2023. And I also am known in some circles as Barack Woodstock. So whatever you call me is fine. Whether it's gross or Brock Woodstock. Tonight we are going to be reviewing a beer that I may, I probably have had before, but I never took a deeper look at it. Now it is an IPA, which I know is, people are probably getting sick of IPAs by now. I mean, I enjoy them. I'm trying to get it more into other styles. But I had a coupon at the uh, local grocery store, the Jewel, of course. And uh, it was New Belgium beer, buy two six packs and get $5 off. Now this Jewel is a smaller Jewel so it's not going to have a massively huge beer selection. I do think that uh, Dante Johnson, the uh, liquor department manager, I think he does an excellent job of getting the beers that he knows that Woodstock, Woodstockians or Woodstockites, I'm not sure what you call us, that the local people of Woodstock are going to enjoy. But I am excited for this one because I believe I've, I've had it before. I may have said that already. I have a very, very, very bad short-term memory. So if I just said that, well, that's fine. But I'm not going to restart re-recording or turn this off or whatever the case may be. But anyways, this is going to be the from New Belgium Brewing. This is their new Voodoo Ranger IPA, which I think is quite popular. But that doesn't mean a lot. Because, well, Bud Light is popular and that is ter terrible. Michelob Ultra is popular and that is terrible, so... That is not going to be taken into consideration when I review this. So I'm going to review it based on how I feel about it, not how the mass public feels about it, because oftentimes my likes and the general public likes are quite far apart. But let's get into this beer right now, and I did let it sit out for a little while because a quality beer you should let it depending on the style you should let it warm up a little bit especially a stout a stout should actually be enjoyed at room temperature or close to it but this is not a stout, but it still should be allowed time to, to warm up a bit. Because what cold does to a beer is actually takes away some of the nuances of the flavor. So you don't need your beer unless it's a, budge, a budget lager should be cold because like when a PBR gets warm that is terrible that is absolutely terrible but if a PBR or a Hams is cold or a Miller High Life is cold that's good because they're generally not made for great taste they all those beers are enjoyable but they're not going to have the taste and the high quality of a of a higher quality beer because if the beer wasn't 
yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about, but forget it. Anyways, we're going to open this Voodoo Ranger. And we got the glass here, which is one of my favorites. I like this glass because you don't, you're not interfering with the beer. You have to, now we're going to tour it like this. See what she looks like. I want to pour it too slow or too fast. I'm going to slightly tilt it here. There we go. This color looks nice. Nothing too exciting. And you've got a nice little head there. Very important. But it's got the aroma. Now, I don't know. Hang on one second. I apologize as I do not know the IBUs of this fine beverage. I will, however, look it up and put it into the comment section after this video is downloaded. Now this Voodoo Ranger IPA is coming in at a 7% alcohol by volume. So I don't suggest drinking any or drink I don't I don't even say don't drink one just don't drink and drive forget it don't 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 mess around with that because you know you're gonna have more than one so don't pretend like you're just gonna have one and you're gonna drive because like who drinks just one beer nobody's doing that so just if you're gonna enjoy these make sure you're you're drinking them at home or you have a ride home if you're going to the local gin mill. Okay? Now let's get a sniff on this. Very enjoyable smell. Not overwhelm, not too strong on the uh, aroma, but it does have your 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 common IPA smells, which is going to be the the citrus, like the, the, the pine cone, the hops. Very, very pleasant smell, very subtle smell, but it's there. It is there. It is. Very nice enjoyable let's get a taste of this IPA voodoo ranger well, this is definitely a a more mild a subtle IPA so that I can if the IBUs are above 40, I would be very surprised. This is very... Now, I'm used to IPA, so this for me, this is quite mild. Still enjoyable, still tasty. Very nice. You do get that, to, uh, just a slight hop bitterness on the front of the tongue, which is nice. This might, this is, I think this is a good starter IPA. Because for me, I'm used to the the higher IBUs, I'm used to the, like the stone ruination with over 100 IBUs, the uh, Ninja versus Unicorn, which I think is at least 150 IBUs, and that'll, that one will rock your world. So if you're a beginner, don't, don't get into, don't, you don't want to start with the uh, stone ruinations or the Ninja versus Unicorn, because then it will, you will not, 
want to drink IPAs. But with this, if you're a beginner and you're thinking about getting into the IPA style, this, I think, is a good one to start with. And it still has a nice, even though I keep saying it's mild, it is an enjoyable flavor. It's a nice, easy to drink, but I still don't recommend drinking any drinking. I don't even, I don't recommend drinking one. I said it before, I'll say it again. 7% is nothing to play around with. If you're drinking these, then do not drive a vehicle. Don't do it. I, I think this is a, going to be a four-star beer. It is a little mild for my my palate, which is pretty advanced when it comes to this uh, style of beer. But it is sensational for someone who is just starting to get into it. So this one is getting four stars. And I want to wish everybody a happy new year. And that is it. And I will have another review next week. Thank you for watching. And hopefully you enjoyed this enough to click the old subscribe button. Goodbye, everybody.